Facebook, YouTube, what's up guys? Today is August the 4th. I'm on my first and only job of the day. I have four estimates. I've already did two of the estimates and both estimates booked on the spot. Um, so I'm out here in the Atlanta, Georgia area. Um, I came out here about a month ago, gave an estimate. Um, they were planning to, uh, well they did, uh, put the house on the market. And they said they had a, actually it was a hardwood guy out here when I was out here and me and him exchanged information. So they said Said they did not want to put a lot of money in these in, into these floors because um, you know what other people was telling them they would have to sand the floor and they didn't want to get these floors sanded because the um, the home uh, the housekeeper who I'm dealing with was telling me they was getting quotes almost up to twenty thousand dollars so they called me out here and I told them their biggest issue with this floor like a lot of floors I do is you see a lot of smudge on the floor and most guys who sand hardwood floors they don't do nothing about this so you see right here guys especially you see in the light you see how the floors look really foggy because what that is and she told me that the home that the house cleaners um for over years were were using murphy's oil soap so what we're looking at on these floors like you see around here where they had a rug but you see the outer areas guys you see that fog see how it looks real like like a cloudy that's nothing but that murphy's oil soap that has built up over the years and it's just a bunch of it's just it's just a bunch of residue on the floors so what i'm doing i'm going to do a uh, clean and recoat and that way we're going to get these floors look, looking good where they don't have to be sanded and it's going to save my clients a ton and ton of uh money so what i'm doing guys is going to go ahead and start screening these floors i actually got a guy who worked with me yesterday he should be coming by because he's supposed to help me on this job um he might be on the way but what i'm doing here uh to show you guys uh, this room right here so it is a lot you see all that see all those scuff marks on the floors so what I'm doing here, and I'm also gonna be doing some color correction as well. I wanna show you guys that. So on this project, this is, Mrs. Steel. So this is a total of 1,632 square feet. There he is. <laughs> What's up, Scobie? I was just about recording. You too. Yes, you. sir. So we're gonna be doing some um, color correction right here. You see where the stain has worn out. I got one like this tomorrow as well, guys. So 1,632 square feet of cleaning and recoding at $1.50 a square foot. So I've already got the culture ready with some Nutri Cleaner and we're gonna start scrubbing and we'll come back and show you guys some results. Stay tuned. Right, guys you've seen us screen the floors clean the floors now we are applying the first coat 
of the um, uh, polyurethane. And you can see, and this is a set and finish, so you can see where it's drying. It's, But you can see how the floors look compared to the uh, urethane. All right, guys, and I'm also about to start correcting these uh, uh, stain issues right here. And I'll come back and show you some results. Stay tuned. All right, guys, you can see we're putting our second coat down. Want to do some rolling? Yeah. So uh, we've already done, this, we're doing the second coat now. We got Scobie on the roller. You see how much better this look? Where it was missing that stain. And that second coat should make it look better. All right guys, showing you the progress. Stay tuned. All right guys, check it out, check it out. Floors came out amazing. Got the second coat laid down ready to walk on as you can see and man these floors look incredible let's go over here guys and look at this color correction that i did look how much better that looks that came out really 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 good and what's what's really throwing it off because i thought it was darker but it's the shadow from the island see how it's really dark right there that line so that's from the island and it's just kind of throwing it off but man that came out so much better around the island so much better guys so much better and again this job was a referral and uh my hardwood referrals are really starting to kick in and i'm beginning uh, quite a few referrals i actually had one come in today was a referral um man these floors look good Now I will say too, with a lot of these finishes, like with this one, this was the Palmin X that I used and it was a semi-gloss. But one thing about the Paul, uh, some of these products, like this really doesn't look like semi-gloss. It more, it looks, it's more on the satin side to me. And that's one thing about a lot of these finishes. You can use a semi-gloss or satin sheen from two different uh, uh, companies and they, will, they, they won't be consistent. So that's why I make sure I use, always use the same exact product on the exact, uh, on the exact same floor. I don't never want to mix and match my products um, when I'm doing these floors. But you can see all that residue and that haze, guys. Remember all that residue and haze that was on the floor? Gone. And again, the floors just needed to be cleaned really good and, um, you know, uh, screened to, uh, you know, to uh, create that uh, uh, abrasion to the floor. So when we put our poly down, it has something to uh, adhere to. But when it comes to this, like, sanding the floors, I hear it all the time. Sand the floors. You got to sand the floors. And this issue, you guys remember the beginning of the video? It was just it was just a bunch of residue. That's all it was. So, all right, guys. Well, that's going to do it. I'm done for Well, I'm not done for the day. I'm about to go uh, get me something to eat. I haven't eaten all day. But I also got two more estimates. Thank you guys again for watching. See you in the next one.